I'm Jim with Ride Snowboards and I'm here today to talk to you about the 2020 Ride All Mountain Snowboards. We're going to start with the Commissioner. So the Commissioner is the most tech snowboard on the market. Uh, our board engineer wanted to build the fastest snowboard possible. He wanted to build something that had no top speed limit, something that you could ride um, faster than you're comfortable riding. So how we achieve that with the commissioner, as you look at this board, there's some pretty interesting things going on on the top sheet. So you'll see a raised section, this matte black section, and that's actually a full aluminum sheet on the top of this snowboard. So what that aluminum does is really absorb vibrations and, and uh, allow you to ride this board way, way faster than you think you want to be riding it. Then the cutouts here, we actually cut out some sections of aluminum to save some weight and uh, we inlaid sections of carbon fiber so that's not a carbon fiber print that's true carbon fiber so this board is very high performance it's very hard snow oriented and very speed oriented this thing will ride powder I've had really fun pow days on it but it, this thing really thrives in the uh, in those icy kind of uh, race type conditions so this also comes with our carbon or, or pop walls so that's carbon fiber in uh, inlaid with the slime walls the urethane slime walls absorb more of the vibrations you get our full race base so this is generally a base reserved for high-end ski racers um, but we were able to uh, source some of that and put it onto this snowboard this is a board for for you if you don't want to have a top speed and you just want to go as fast as possible um, yeah I, Versatility of this board, I mean, you're certainly not going to hit street rails on it, but uh, I've had a lot of fun days all over the mountain, free ride board, maybe you're doing some races, um, you just want to go fast, this is kind of the one you want to check out. So the next one here to talk about is the algorithm. So the algorithm is maybe one of the most versatile snowboards in the ride line. So this was an update that we made a couple years back, and um, the idea here was we wanted to build a snowboard that kind of a quiver killer snowboard that you could do anything on. So what's cool about the algorithm, it's a twin shape with a setback stance, so it's a directional twin. So if you want to, you, you're maybe coming off of twins and you're getting to the point where you want to ride something a little bit more all-mountain, a little bit more versatile, then this is a good board to check out um, because you kind of get that feel of a twin, but you can set the stance set back so you get a little bit more nose than tail, so you're going to float in the softer snow. Um, you'll see a lot of our team riders using this. They're jumping on it, they're free riding on it. Um, you'll see people in the park on it, certainly capable all over the mountain. So the, a couple cool features on this one, you got the urethane slime walls. So this has the pop walls. So that's carbon inlay into the side walls in the tip and tail. So it gives you that response on both the tip and tail. Um, and this is offered in standard and wide width. So if you got a really big foot, um, check out the wides. This one does come um, uh, a little bit wider. The standard width is probably probably more, uh, a little bit wider than say some of our older more traditional super narrow boards. So um, really good board to kind of do everything on. Um, art on this one was done by a game, guy named Vincent Van de Waal. Um, you can check him out. He lives in Amsterdam. The next one we want to look at here is the Berserker. This is one of my favorite snowboards of all time. So this is an all new shape last year so uh, you can go and uh, after you've watched this video if you want to see a little bit more on it we did a really cool marketing piece with Jake Blavelt and Michael Chilton our snowboard engineer who designed this kind of talking about the design process they went through way too many prototypes I got yelled at a lot by the suits about how many prototype snowboards we had to make but the idea behind this one is Jake's had the Berserker as his pro model for going on 10 years now he wanted to update it and the old Berserker, if you've ridden that, was a very smooth riding board, kind of really suited Jake's style. Jake came to us and said, I want to make it smoother. And I honestly thought he was high uh, because I was like, I don't know how you're going to make the snowboard smoother. So they went and went through all these different prototypes. The main difference between this and the previous iterations of the Berserker are really, if you watch the other video, they'll talk about blend zones and how it kind of entry and exit into turns. Um, a little bit smoother than the other one. The first time I rode this, I was really surprised because it was actually smoother than the previous one. So this is a really good kind of do everything snowboard. There's a little bit of taper on this one. So if, you, if you're coming off a twin and you really want to 
kind of ride an all-mountain twin, the algorithms may be a better choice for you. Um, this one, with that little bit of taper, makes it a little more directional, but it also makes the tail um, sink a little bit in softer snow, so you're going to get a little bit better soft snow performance. I, I'm perfectly happy riding this one switch. This is not like an old school taper board where you're like freaking out and it's super hooky riding backwards. You can watch Jake, he's riding powder lines backwards at times. One thing to note on the sizing on this, you want to, uh, Jake has a smaller foot, so the waist width on this is is definitely a little narrower than some of the other boards in the line. So you want to make sure that your waist width matches your boot size as much as your um, as much as your height matches the length of the board. Um, when you're going to check out the wide versions of this board, this one doesn't get ultra wide. So if you're a size 14 or something foot, um, unless you're going to ride the 67 wide, you probably want to look at something like the Algorithm, Commissioner, Super Pig, or Mountain Pig wide. But if you've got um, a smaller foot, then the narrows are going to fit you great. If you've got uh, 10, 11, 12, then those wide versions are going to fit really good. So I really like this. Really really versatile kind of do everything um, all mountain powder stick all right so the next one to talk about here is the ride wildlife so the wildlife is a uh, is kind of a this is a board we we updated three or four years ago um, this has got a directional hybrid cambers this is kind of designed to be a directional do everything snowboard so a um, little bit softer than the berserker a little bit wider than the berserker so if you want something in that berserker range, but you want something that's um, maybe not as aggressive, um, not as stiff, then the wildlife's certainly a good one to check out. The graphics on this are really cool this year. You got to check out um, in on our YouTube channel the ride design house feature. Our design team moved to Japan last winter and lived in Hakuba and worked with our team in Japan to kind of uh, design the entire ride product line. And this one certainly came uh, with the most Japanese inspired graphic. The, the, the character in the middle there is called the Kamushka. That's, in, that's a Japanese sero. So it's like a deer antelope thing that lives in the mountains. Um, you definitely want to check that out. It reads, um, it reads Kamushka um, and in Japanese. And then it also reads ride in Japanese. So um, this is the 2020 ride wildlife. And then for the women's kind of all mountain offering, we have the magic stick. So the magic stick, if you're looking for a, a snowboard that's, that's going to be kind of a more traditional shape than the Psycho Candy, but you want to have a directional um, snowboard with, uh, that you can ride soft snow with, um, maybe a little bit more friendly riding switch than the Psycho Candy, the magic stick is going to be a really good option for you there. Um, this comes with the urethane uh, slime walls, so it's going to provide uh, vibration damping. This is kind of a really good do everything board. You'll see um, Hannah Beeman riding this sometimes. She's also on the Psycho Candy at times and the Warpeg at times. So you'll see, uh, you'll see this one out there. And that is the Ride All Mountain Collection for 2020.